Hi guys, this is Mythical India and today we are going to talk about Natwarlal, the most notorious con man from India who had become a legend due to his unbelievable hit jobs and actually had a movie named after him. Natwarlal was the older of two sons in his family. His original name was Mithilesh Kumar. His father was a rich zamindar from North Bihar. There was no indication in his early life about his future exploits and he was just an average student in school. He realized very early in life that he had the skills required to replicate the signatures perfectly. It was a world without pin numbers and passwords and he used this unique skill for the first crime of stealing 1000 rupees. As a young man Mithilesh Kumar went to Calcutta and enrolled as a student for bachelor's in commerce. He also started working as a broker in stock market and tried to set up a cloth business as well. He first came to the notice of police in Calcutta when he got arrested for stealing 9 tons of iron. Natwar Lal used forged documents and pretended that the iron belonged to him. He later sold it to a dealer, but the police caught him and he was convicted for 6 months imprisonment. This jail term didn't really deter him from the path of crime. In Calcutta, he also got involved in something called the prostitute poisoning. The police here said that he used to visit prostitutes and dope them with bad liquor. After they passed out, he would steal their jewelry and money. However, due to the risks involved in the operation, he stopped this very soon. In 1950s and 1960s, Natwar Lal went across India and executed multiple con jobs where he conned jewelers, bankers, and several traders. What made him unique was his meticulous planning for each strike with each minor detail accounted for. This included perfectly forged documents, lavish housing and luxury lifestyle. At one point of time he was wanted in 7 Indian states with 30 different names. His modus operandi usually was to pose as a government official or a rich businessman and complete the con job. Once he had posed as DN Tiwari who was the personal assistant to the then Union Finance Minister ND Tiwari he went to a watch dealer in Connaught Place in New Delhi and told the owner that he was looking for watches as presents for members of Congress parliamentary party he told the proprietor to pack 93 watches the next day and said that he would issue a bank draft against it He later gave a forged demand draft which owner realized only after 2 days. Natwar Lal had an extensive knowledge of banking and stock broking which really helped him in his small heists. He would also claim consignment of goods on railway stations that he thought had potential through impeccable documents and checks. He would later sell these consignments to unsuspecting parties. He is reported to have done this con with a Gujarati partner called Natwar Lal which is how the name also stuck with him. For more than 5 decades his name had become synonymous with cheating and cons in the country. He actually liked to portray himself as a modern era Robin Hood and loved to claim that he robbed only from rich and gave the money back to the poor. He is said to have believed that he was in some divine mission. He never kept his wealth a secret. In fact, several times he had driven to his native village, set up a pandal there, got cooks and fed the whole village with a grand meal and entertainment. Natwar Lal is also said to have cheated many industrialists including Birlas and Ambanis when he took huge amounts of money from them in cash while posturing as a social worker or a needy person. He also used to pose as government official and fool foreign tourists by selling them famous Indian monuments. In fact, he is reported to have forged President Rajendra Prasad's signature to sell Red Fort and Taj Mahal. He is also believed to have sold the Rashtrapati Bhavan and the Parliament House of India. Natwar Lal was caught by the police several times and was sentenced to over 113 years of jail time. However, he never served his full term. His escape from Kanpur jail in 1957 can actually be rated as one of the most daring jail escapes in the world. For the jailbreak, he had a sub inspector's dress smuggled in and got his guards to open the door by giving them a suitcase filled with money. Natwar Lal actually walked out of the jail wearing the uniform and when the policemen opened the suitcase they found it to be full of newspapers. He was seen for the last time at New Delhi railway station in 1996 while he was being transported from Kanpur to Ames for treatment. He managed to vanish from wheelchair at 84 years of age. His date of death is also uncertain since his brother has claimed that he had buried Natwar Lal in 1996 but his lawyer had said that he was alive till 2009. His daring acts can really be compared with some of the most notorious criminals like Frank Abagnale and Victor Lustig. 
This is Mythical India and we will be bringing to you stories about Indian history, culture and people. So if you liked the video you just saw, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Do let us know in the comments below if there is a particular story you would like us to present.